hello great people welcome back to our channel we are so excited to have you again a lot of things has been happening in this country and it clearly shows that we are yet to secure politicians who are actually selfless who are empathic who are out to offer services to the people because um, when you look at what is going on you realize that these guys are just in there to fill their pockets some time ago we heard in lagos state and Kwara state and some other state they are trying to move a motion to see how they can stop anything like pensions for ex-governors and their deputies but shockingly in a southeastern state the story is different they are trying to see how they can make the governors and their deputies perpetually rich till the day they pass on from this war. And this is just, I'm not shocked about it because it's what Nigerians have been expecting. And guess what? This is coming in the middle of the state being unable to pay retired teachers' salary. It's good for you to hear the content of the bill so that you know what I'm talking about. But before we continue, if you're not subscribed to our channel, kindly hit the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish our videos. Now, according to the news, and the re it read does that at a time retire primary school teachers are being owed their entitlement, the Enugu state government is planning to provide life benefit running into billions of naira for former governors and their deputies. Last Thursday, the Enugu House of Assembly introduced a bill that seeks to provide life pension for ex-governors and their deputies in the state. The executive bill tag Enugu State Gubernatorial Pension Bill 2021 covers all former governors and their deputies. This is happening at a time when some states, including Lagos and Quara, are moving to block such life benefits for ex-governors. Apart from coming amidst the effect of the coronavirus pandemic, it will further deplete the resources of the state, which has a 58% poverty rate, according to the National Bureau of Statistics. Interestingly, the proposed law seeks additional benefits for ex-governors as the state already has a law providing for life pension for ex-governors. Mm. It was uh, the copy of the new bill which was obtained. It was discovered that it appropriate at least 900% of governor's annual salary as his monumentary entitlement every year after leaving office. Even their wives would get a share of the cake amounting to 12 million naira as annual medical allowance. Provision of the bill cover almost any possible major expenses an ex-governor can incur in his or her lifetime, including financial responsibility for burial. Mm. According to Section 6, where a go former governor or former deputy governor dies, the state government shall make available or shall make adequate arrangement and bear the financial responsibility for his burial and pay a condolence allowance of a sum equivalent to the annual basic salary of the incumbent to the next of kin. The fourth section provides for such other gratuity or allowances as may be provided by any other law as may be entitled to a former governor other than what was stated in the bill. Hmm. In addition to the lifetime annual basic salary ABS for an ex-governor, there is also a house maintenance allowance, an annual salary for five domestic staff, and a vehicle allowance, each value at 300% of the ABS. This translates to 900% of the ABS being paid to former governor every year. This is in addition to providing three vehicles to be replaced every four years, as well as a personal assistant on salary grade, grade level 14. Apart from the 12 million naira provided for the former governor's wife as annual medical allowance, both ex-governor and ex-first lady will also receive free medical services upon death. There are also similar provisions for a former deputy governor who gets 200% of their ABS each for house allowance, vehicle allowance, and annual salary for three domestic staff. 
He will also be getting two vehicles to be replaced every four years, free medical services for him and his wife, as well as six million naira medical allowance for the latter. Enugu was only able to generate 12.2 billion naira as revenue in the first quarter of 2020. How much of that can take care of its former governors and their deputies? Mm. This is really, really a, a disheartening situation, considering the fact that um, most people do not even have feelings again. They just believe that every time they have an opportunity, they should drain the government of the day. They should take everything away from Nigerians without caring. And uh, I, I think at this point, um, we should uh, wake up and correct this thing. I, I, I feel... Though it has not been passed to law yet, but at this point, I think the people of the Southwest, Enugu precisely, need to rise up and vote against this, go on a protest against this. Most of them are in office currently. They are enjoying big time. I tell you, they are enjoying big time. But despite all those enjoyment and everything, they are still preparing a greater and far better future for themselves. But come on to pay the civil servant their 30,000 naira minimum wage is an issue. How can a governor be walking away with 900 million of his annual basic salary every year? How do they even take into consideration the revenue generation of the state? That just that alone, imagine how many governors have left thus far and that such a thing is being rolled into play. It therefore means that all governors will be the will be the first benefactor of whatever revenue that the state is making, which is absolutely wrong. This is for me. I I, I never believe that some sane people who call themselves lawmakers can wake up and make this kind of law when they cannot even provide adequate basic needs of the people. They can't even provide it. Till today, we are still talking about electricity. Till today, we are still talking about insecurity. Till today, we are still talking about good access road. Till today, we are still talking about the issue of housing. Even water, fairly recently, in Enugu, that is the same Enugu state, there was serious issue about pipe-borne water. There was no water around in the city. Virtually everybody now have boreholes. Now, you can't even provide that, but for those who are already comfortable and who are not even complaining after they leave office because they have plundered the wealth of the state as much as they can, you are making provision for a 900% annual basic salaries for them and even providing for their wives, making provision even for their own burials and even ensuring that as at the date of the burial, their next of kin walk away with the same 900% annual basic salary. How heartless can someone be? I, 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 think, I think even the federal government need to come into this and see how they can correct. Yes, I know the state government have the right to make laws and all of that, but the people also have a responsibility for them to stop this kind of joke because they are rolling it out, waiting to see the reaction of the people. And guess what? This kind of bill will never go for anything like uh, uh, open contention. That's uh, what I mean. Is uh, It will never go for uh, um, public review. They will never allow such to happen. The public will not have an opportunity of talking about this bill because for them it's an executive bill. And as such, it's only meant to be decided in the House. The, the people need to wake up and correct things. That's where I like to leave.